Greetings, it's Brittany from Holistic Lactation 365, and today we're going to discuss breastfeeding through a hurricane. I am a Florida girl, and we have had a very busy hurricane season so far, so I'm thinking of the moms who may be facing the storm, and I want to give y'all a couple of um, things that you can keep in mind while you are breastfeeding or pumping for your baby during this time. So the first one is feed your baby on demand. When you feed your baby as often as they want, it helps to promote proper breast milk production. Remember, the body makes milk off of supply and demand. The more the baby feeds, the more milk you should produce. If you have a sleepy feeder, maybe you have a brand new baby, baby came a little early, preterm babies tend to be a little sleepier, you may have to encourage feedings using the guideline of about every two to three hours to nurse your baby. If you are an exclusively pumping mom, it's important to pump your breast regularly. The milk being removed well and often will help to support proper breast milk production. Most babies will feed about eight to 12 times a day, so it's important that you stimulate your breast as often as your newborn would feed. Now, in the event that the power goes out and you are no longer able to use your pump, you can, you can use a hand pump, a manual pump. That can be very convenient during times like that. You would just have to pump each breast one at a time. When you're using your electric pump, you can usually double pump, but you'll do one at a time, pump for 15 to 20 minutes. That's sufficient on average for most moms. And um, you collect your milk in that way. You can also use your hand. Hand expression is a technique to collect, to remove milk from the breast manually. It's a great skill for moms to have in their pocket just in case. The hand is actually the original breast pump, so I encourage y'all to look up um, the technique hand expression or manual expression. It's very simple. Basically, you make a C shape around your areola. You press in towards your chest and then squeeze your fingers together behind your nipple, and you do that a couple of times. You can do that for about 15 minutes, the same amount of time you use to pump to manually remove milk from the breast. It's simple, but it's still a learned skill, so it can take some practice to master. But I want y'all to be aware of options and different ways that you can express your milk if you are not able to use your electric pump or if for some reason your baby is having difficulty feeding, you can express your milk in alternative ways. Also, um, milk storage. If you have freshly pumped milk, it is good. It's safe at room temperature for four to six hours, but you wanna put it in the fridge or freezer as soon as possible. And the, and the refrigerator is good for three to five days and in the freezer, it's good for three to six months. Now, good practice is to store your milk in the back of the refrigerator or freezer, not in the doorway where the temperature can be um, unstable. The back is the coldest part and the temperature tends not to fluctuate as much in the back. If the power goes out, your frozen milk that is in the freezer, it can stay frozen for about 24 hours in there. So make sure that you're not opening the door um, unnecessarily. You can also keep your milk on a cold cooler pack for up to 24 hours. So if you have a ice with um, a cooler with ice in there, you can keep your milk in there for 24 hours in the event that the power goes out. Um, or if you have like one of those frozen cooler packs that you can put like in your lunch box and keep your lunch box insulated with your milk in there, that is also um, safe. You can keep your milk in a cooler pack, a frozen cooler pack for 24 hours. I am looking at my notes. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything for y'all. Um, yeah, those are basically the basics. Um, it's just very important to remember during these times, frequent and effective milk removal will help to protect your breast milk production. I wish everybody that may be facing the storm um, well that your family is safe if you're traveling that you have safe travels let me know down in the comments are y'all going to be facing hurricane milton that's the one that's headed for us right now that y'all found this helpful i do offer breastfeeding support i think one of the most important things is to get prepared long before your journey begins so if you are an expecting mom i would love to support you and if you've already had your baby i do offer virtual lactation consultations, which is super helpful because you can get the support that you need without leaving the comfort of your home.